Right, that's it. No more preparation. The World Cup for England starts here. For the final time, I'm in my hotel room in Miami. England players already on their way south. Next stop, Rio de Janeiro. They're landing around 1 p.m. UK time on Sunday. They'll train for the first time on Monday. It's starting to get real. It's starting to become what it's all about. It is the World Cup. Perhaps not the greatest performance for England to sign off on their preparations, but the important thing, particularly given how nasty it was at times, they were pretty brutal, the Hondurans, was that there were no more injuries and there might have been. Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain too has been past fit. He will be on the flight. He was on the flight. He will be, they hope, England ready to play, if not for Italy, then certainly for the second or third group games, which is really important, added to the options that Roy Hodgson has got. And what we saw in the game against Honduras was, I think for me, the standout performances were by Danny Welbeck on the left. I thought he was excellent. And perhaps more importantly, Jordan Henderson showed, for me, for the first time, that he's an England international player. He really enjoyed it. He was a, a monster in the middle of the park. He rewarded up and down great energy, great enthusiasm. That was really good to see. And of course we all saw once again another uh, glimpse of what Ross Barkley can bring to the team. You know, some will say now, come on Barkley or Rooney, it's got to be Barkley, it's got to be the younger player. Realistically, can you go for a teenager or 20 year old who's made a handful of appearances, just one start, ahead of England's fifth highest, sixth highest all time scorer, 39 goals in 91 appearances? I don't see it. I don't think Roy Hodgson's going to do that yet. But Barkley's a genuine contender to be involved in this World Cup as the player who hasn't really played on this trip. Raheem Sterling, just 14 minutes against Ecuador before his red card. But he's, I think, perhaps now going to get the edge over Adam Lallana. We will see. We've got five days in Rio before the big game. Three days, rather, in Rio, five days in Brazil. And the England fly to Manaus on Thursday. They you know, head to the Amazon for the sauna. Similar sort of sauna to the one they encountered in the Sun Life Stadium, I'm sure, which was exactly what we were expecting. It was horrible to play football in. And of course then we had that remarkable 45 minute delay for the thunderstorm which passed too close for anyone's comfort. And then hopefully England's uh, flight would have been uh, more comfortable than that. It's real now. There's no messing around. This is what it's all about. The next time I speak to you, I'll be in Rio. England will be in Rio, ready to train for the first time at Urca. The countdown, loudly ticking. We now know that England have got the ability to hurt teams. Whether they can score enough goals is another matter. Whether they can defend well enough, another matter again. But I thought it was quite encouraging. I really did. I think we are where probably we wanted to be. Now, of course, is to find out whether, whether that is good enough. Good luck to Roy. Good luck to England. The World Cup really, truly starts here. And Mirror Football will be with you uh, all the way through to the bitter end. Let's just hope it's an end and not a bitter one.